we are back. Build bunkers to cheese push in StarCraft, true. Build bunkers to turtle forever. Hope the opponent gets bored. Oh, also true. Yeah, StarCraft is a good game. I wish we had another new freaking hype RTS that everyone plays, man. Come on, Frost Giant Studio. Hurry it up. Hope they make it before five years pass. Prepare yourself for battle, heroes. What well, Vala build is better, Q or W? I think for 95% of players, it's going to be W. So I'm going to say W to you. But I think there are cases where a extremely skilled Vala player, it would be Q. But I'm going to say W to you. Outside of high GM, it's probably W is better every time. The battle begins in 10 seconds. Just because it's so much easier. Five. Four, three, two, one. Let the battle begin. <laughs> now is the time. My armor, Kerr? Probably, um, let's just go Nyash, just screw it. It's a big map. Mercs are kind of important. Might as well do Mercs fast on this map. Jack is asking for it. Oh, good try. At least the Brightwing avoided my thing. But a loss he could not avoid us all. Why do you think ETC is good now? Well, I've always thought ETC is good. I mean, he's just got a good kit. AoE stun. Good. AoE displacement. Good. Mosh pit is good. He just, just has a useful set of skills. Yeah, his only downside is he is squishy, but that's something that player skill, uh, that's where player Let's skill go. comes in. He's like Liam Nelson or Neat, whatever that guy's name is. Yeah, he's got a very specific set of skills, and that set of skills is good at doing a particular set of things. Choose a power. All right, did my homework. Excellent. Mercs are done. Now I can go find people and run it down on them. Ooh, actually, I could have gone percent damage my of this game with the Diablo. That's okay. Q build is still good too. The guilty will suffer. Isn't mosh pit really easily interrupted at your level of play? Yeah, it is, but it also makes. Game winning plays a lot as well. It just depends. Just the constant battle. Very skill intensive of whether or not you find a really good mosh or not. Even without mosh pit, I mean, AoE stun and AoE displacement, just those two things alone are already very, very powerful. Even if you never get a good mosh, it's still good. It's just like one of the easiest heroes to just get a kill with. Favorite mosh over dive? Well, generally yes, but not always. If they actually do have way too many interrupts, you can always go dive. Dive is not a bad tower. Oh my god, they are all tethered. I thought this guy was a Samuro one trick. That's how he's not playing Samuro. Someone ban it? Someone wasn't ban it. No. Darn, I tried to go for a ricochet on the 1 HP Browing, but my thing didn't. It splashed onto like all the towers, but it didn't splash onto the Brightwing. I'll take it though, it's a pretty good fight. Eh, whatever. Guess I'm committed to Q build now. Be 
lead as I have led. Never take stage dive? Well, if you just think you're never gonna get a good mosh, it's better than not having a mosh. Also, there's some rare cases where you can offline ETC, but that doesn't happen very much in uh, solo queue. Yo, I appreciate that, Sino. That's a big pog, my man. That's a big pog. Wait, you know you have Prime, though, Sino. That crown next to your name is Amazon Prime. So, I'm not sure if you're using it or not, but if you're not using it, you can get a sub for free every month from Amazon Prime by just clicking sub with Prime. Now is the time. Surely this guy doesn't get away with a 1v5. That's a little too risky, no? Aw, oh, didn't get any sense. That guy just ran into us 1v5. That's free. I don't have Naisha's, so now I don't really want to do Phoenix because it takes too long. I really should go through them anyways, so. Yeah, fine, I'll go through them. Choose a talent. Like that? Exactly. Like exactly what Abby Aki did. Thank you, Aki, for the Prime Gaming. You look into it, do you get the money from Amazon? Yeah, it's really simple. So basically that blue crown next to your, your name, that means you have Amazon Prime. And one of the free benefits that Amazon Prime gives you is you get a free sub, Twitch sub, every month. All you have to do is click sub and click sub with Twitch Prime instead of sub normally. It's the exact same thing. It's the same thing as a normal sub. Like, no difference except you get it for free. It's like just the perk of being with Amazon or having Amazon Prime. Yes, you do, Wilhouse. A lot of you guys might have it, and you don't even... Wait, you guys don't even know! I need to explain Prime more often. I thought everyone knew about this. Y'all got Prime, and you don't even know you have it? Every single month, you should be using that, because if you don't use it, it just goes away. It's literally free. Money. You know? Like this. Like that, dude. Like that. Thank you for the 13. Welcome back. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Yeah. I'm gonna leave now, team. Good luck. I leave. Don't flame me if you all die. I wanna okay. go soak something. The tribute's already gone. No reason to stay there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm okay here. Oh, I left too early. I'm still okay. Might not be okay. Oof. Close. Oh, he, he didn't clear the giants though. His tribute's gonna take hella damage there. Really worth it because he didn't get me. Prime is 120 bucks a year. You can get up to 60 bucks back from that. That's true. I never really thought about that, but that's actually a lot of value if you use it every month that you get back. This guy's 1v10ing again. Oh, got the Jaina. I got the Jaina! I got the Jaina! Jaina did! Stupid, annoying ass tracer! Trying to kill me! I can't see shit! Oh my god! Okay. I'll stop talking like that. Oh, 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 you love it when a Brightwing TPs and you literally can't miss the recess because they're right next to each other. Oh, that's, that's what feels good, man. Hey, go easy. Okay, once we get Curse, we want to soak every lane. It's a huge waste of Curse if you don't have someone soaking every lane. I see a lot of people like 5 man during curse, and if you don't get like, at least a keep and you're 5 manning during curse, you're missing a full minute's worth of soak in the other two lanes. Super not worth it. Gotta make sure you're soaking. Especially since you can soak it so easily too. 1 HP minions.
Yeah, it's a daily, it's a daily sub count, Koro. That's a daily sub count. Sign up for Prime with an EDU email, half off, you still get Prime video and Twitch Prime. That's true, if you're a student, you got an EDU email. Or at least I think that's true. That was true when I was a student, but I haven't been a student in a while. You, know, you can take advantage of, of that too. Enough. What's the difference between hard try and my ev and just my ev? <laughs> Not much. I guess if you just donate for my ev, I can go whatever build I want, right? I can go like troll builds or just not optimal builds. If you donate for try hard as well, then I'll just try to play the best build possible to win the game. In this case, I think I'm playing one of the better builds to win the game with anyways. Not really trolling much this game. My F has a troll build. Mm. Well, I mean, I guess technically you can play all her builds, but obviously some builds are going to be worse than others, right? They're, just, they're not all going to be... Some talents are going to be worse than others. Though. Kinda of brutal. Is it just me? Can't be just me. I don't even feel like I'm doing that much. My team getting kinda gapped. Probably can't end though. Didn't really get that much with our ults. I think there was two people in my cage, but no follow up. That was rather violent. Most boring hero. Oh my god. Let's chat. What do you guys think? Some people think like Johanna or something. I, I've heard a lot of people think Johanna is boring. Oh, game's over. No, oh, GG. That was fast. Oh, the Jaina died seven times. Yeah, I don't know. The Jaina and the Diablo are kind of inting on cooldown. That probably made the game a lot faster. Oh, that's a lot of Jaina deaths. MVP. Medic? Yeah, yeah, I hear a lot of people think Medic's boring too. That's true. Irel? Okay, I can see Irel. You're like just double soaking most of the time and her abilities are kind of clunky and slow. I can see that. Rainer, that's true. I could see Rainer being boring to people too. He's kind of just a powerful lane minion. 